power, wealth, trade. The Hanseatic League made cities like Bremen, Hamburg, and Lübeck flourish in the Middle Ages. Magnificent buildings to this day still bear witness to this fascinating piece of German trade history, an early form of globalization. The word Hansa comes from Old German and means entourage, group, or flock. It describes an association of merchants that ensured greater safety at sea and pursued common economic interests. In its heyday, this alliance included up to 200 cities in 16 countries. At times, the Hanseatic League was so powerful that it imposed economic blockades on kingdoms and even waged wars. Hamburg is one of the oldest members of the Hanseatic League. The city is located on the River Elbe, which flows into the North Sea and has the largest seaport in Germany. Trade and maritime flair dominate Hamburg's image. The Speicherstadt, the largest historical warehouse complex in the world, is famous. The ensemble of buildings is part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as is the Kontorhaus Quarter with the Chila House. In its time, it was considered the first high-rise building in Hamburg with its 10 floors. Hamburg's new landmark, the Elbe Philharmonie Concert Hall, was built on an old warehouse. It connects history with modernity. The typical red brick also characterizes many other Hanseatic cities in northern Germany, such as Lübeck. For many years, it was the leading city in the alliance and was also known as Queen of the Hanseatic League. The European Hanseatic Museum in Lübeck documents the rise and fall of this trading power. The Old Town Center has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987. This also includes the famous Holsten Tor Gate. The late Gothic building is one of the remains of the city fortification and is the landmark of Lübeck. Bremen's history is evident around the marketplace. Here you will find the town hall and the Roland statue, a symbol of Bremen's freedom. Both are part of a World Heritage Site. In 1260, the city joined the Hanseatic League. The rich merchants shipped their goods along the Weser River to the North Sea, from there all over the world. On the Baltic Sea, you will find Wismar with its imposing brick churches, restored gabled houses and its harbour. An eye-catcher is the red and white half-timbered house called the Vault. Givulba. Here, the water of the pit was dammed up. The artificial stream connects Schwerin Lake with the Baltic Sea. Stralsund is also located on the Baltic Sea on a strait. Because of its location, the town is known as the gateway to the island of Rügen. The Hanseatic city is 750 years old. Its medieval center with buildings in the brick Gothic style is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as is Wismar's Old Town. Lüneburg near Hamburg is not located on the coast, but is also characterized by the typical North German red brick architecture. Lüneburg itself is known as the Hanseatic city on the salt as it used to be an important supplier of salt and was therefore included in the Hanseatic League. To this day, all these towns carry the title Hanseatic City, and two of them have retained their independence. Hamburg and Bremen are independent federal states. <laughs>